Chris Hermides from Tools of the Trade. Uh, we're at the World of Concrete. Um, we're here talking to Mark Martinez, who actually is the founder of Stiletto. Uh, Mark has a new line of hammers out now that he's going to tell us about. Um, Mark, can you show us what you got? Sure. The first one up is the wood handle. It's not traditionally put together uh, the way you've seen in the past where you know you have the wedges holding in on top of the hammer and you know the wedges tend to work loose and mm -hmm. carpenters will oftentimes soak their hammer or put a nail in it to to strengthen that bond mm -hmm. you know because wood does shrink and expand so with this all you have to do is undo this bolt running down through the top of the head you undo it and this bolt runs through the center of the handle, okay. reinforcing its weakest point. Oh, okay. Okay? It has a furniture dowel that is threaded so that when it goes through the center of the hammer, it's it, locks the hand, head it locks the head in and pulls the head down onto the handle, making it virtually impossible to come loose. And you said that this uh, this bolt has a special property. It's it's a hardened steel. Yes, it's a it's a it's a hardened steel and very very hard to bend. Okay. So the handle will definitely fail before that bolt fails. So then all you have to do is just take and and undo it like that. You can replace and, the handle. And you putting it back together is just as easy. You know, you just Slam it down, grab the bolt, put the, the dowel in. It has an indicating point right mm -hmm. here showing so which way the threads, the threads. Yeah, line yeah. the threads up, mm -hmm. put it right back down. And as you can see, I took this hammer apart and put it back together in a relatively short amount of time, short amount yeah. of time yep. which time on the job is very important. Mm -hmm. And to have an extra handle on you, means that you're never down because your hammer fails on the mm -hmm. job. And that's it. Boom. Nice. Um, and then I see you've got another um, option here. Or do you want to talk about the tape? Yeah. The, oh, tell, the, us about the, yeah <clears throat> tell us about that tape. Okay. The hammer science that I know, when, when you are holding a hammer, and all carpenters will agree that, you know, when it, your hand becomes sweaty and dirty, your hammer starts to slip. Mm -hmm. Many guys will will Put scrape their, their hand, hammer. Everybody has a different style of, of doing their improving hand, the grip. improving the grip. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is when that starts sliding, you tend to over grip. Mm -hmm. And when you over grip, you're really messing with the epicondylitis of your arm, carpenter's elbow. Okay. Meaning that in a tense position and a shock position, you're just blowing your arm. With this tape, it is actually a tape that was developed for the golf industry. It's a silicone that based with a stickum to it. Okay. So what happens is you can hold this hammer very loosely and it won't slide. I'm barely holding on to this hammer and it won't slide. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, and if you do dirty this and, and get it full of crud or whatever, simply washing it with soap and water will bring all that stickum and everything right back. So, and it comes on every one of our wood handles. Our premier hammer is our titanium handle with a steel head. Okay. Okay. In my previous designs of a titanium, an all titanium hammer, <clears throat> carpenters really alluded to the fact that having the head cast right into the titanium, <clears throat> they couldn't do any demo with it. Okay. Because in doing demo, you're gonna you're gonna just blow the hell out of mm -hmm. your Right. out of your claws, right. and if you lose your claws, you lose the whole hammer. Right. Now, okay. it did have, does have a replaceable steel face, mm -hmm. but very difficult to remove and to deal with. Mm -hmm. But um, in this scenario right here, it's a solid steel head. Okay. Now, two things have taken place here. It gives you the option <coughs> to replace the head very easily simply by taking this bolt out with a 3 8 box-in wrench, which fits over this, and you just can loosen it or tighten it right into the head. But more importantly, what's really cool about it is you can switch out a smooth, you can even put a ball peen hammer on it, mm -hmm. you can put a rubber mallet on it. We have multiple heads that are designed to fit this technology. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. And of course we have the, the side nail puller, which 
gives you a greater fulcrum for pulling nails. Everybody knows about that. With an all titanium hammer, the weight is distributed completely throughout the whole hammer. Okay. So it's got an even keel all the way across. Well, what we have done is we moved all the weight up to the top of the hammer. Okay. Which, in essence, we've proven this, and, and we're about to do a video in showing the uh, the impact that this has. Now, what happens is this weighs exactly the same amount as my previous all titanium hammer. Weighs exactly. Doesn't feel the same because all the weight is up on top. But what happens with that is you have a greater inertia mm -hmm. striking the nail. Mm -hmm. So this will drive a nail at least one time greater than an all titanium. You don't have to put as much You don't have to it. put as much effort into it. It pretty much drives the nail so much smoother and so much easier. Along with our our you know, our slanted face. Yeah, I was just going to ask, can you talk about that for a minute? Because I noticed it has a different um, face on it. Right, well, the, the face, if you think about it, nobody pounds the nail straight up and down, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. You come in at an angle. Mm -hmm. Well, if you, if you look at a nail and you're coming down at an angle, you're catching the edge of the nail. You're not mm -hmm. catching the full force of the nail. Yep. So, with this face angled, the angle that you come in on you're hitting square on okay. that nail, okay. which instead of a glancing blow, you're getting a full blow, Got it. and it makes a huge difference. Got it. it makes a huge difference. Now, the grip. The grip is something that is problematic with all metal handled hammers. They they tend to wear out. They tend to get smooth, and and they and nobody, nobody in the striking tool industry has a replaceable handle. So once you've worn for out a metal the handle, handle, for a metal, for a metal handle, handle, yeah. handle right. The, the thing is, is with that, by not having a replaceable handle, this handle deteriorates in any way. You either have to send it back to have it reformed and pay a lot of money and be without your hammer. Well, we all know you pay 200 plus dollars for a hammer, but you don't want to be without it for a right. right. Okay, so what we've done is we've come up with a replaceable handle. Okay. Now, the way that these handles are replaced is you simply take the handle and you put it in and you will hear it locking. And all you do is you press. Hear it locking? I hear it keep clicking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's clicking. Now, one last click. Feel that one. <laughs> There's no way you're getting that, that no, off. No, you have to cut it. To pull you have it to off. cut it off. Yep. Right. So to remove it, all you have to do is just run a knife down the bottom, mm -hmm. open it up, and it pulls out, mm -hmm. and you put a new grip on. So now you have the flexibility of if you have an application where the straight handle is going to afford you, a, you know what what it is you're doing the job mm -hmm. with, and you want to go back to curve because you're framing or something. Mm -hmm. Your option is yours, although you have to do buy a new, a new yeah, grip. But change the grip, yeah. you're, <coughs> as you can see, by having one shaft, this hammer yeah. will be with you forever. Yeah. You know, because you can always change buy a new head. You can change the head. You can change the handle, mm -hmm. and therefore. And so, do you have any? Um, so, what 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 are these? What are the hammer options going going to go for? Do you have pricing yet, or? Yes, uh, this hammer right here goes for seventy four ninety five, with the grip tape. Okay. 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 There, are there um, face options available? For right. Those? We have a, a milled face and a smooth face. Okay. Okay. All right. And um, both are, I mean, are the same, but you know, our smooth is really popular. We really we tend to be selling a lot of those. A lot of guys are ordering this hammer with one head and getting a backup head. Mm -hmm. So they have just one to have on, hand, on hand. On hand, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. So, you know, if they're using it for demo, they're just beating the hell out of it. Mm -hmm. And and it, subsequently, it's not compromising their tool. So how much, um, how much, so that hammer is $200? Right. Okay, and how much is a head? Uh, $49. Okay. And that too, you can get the milled face. Right. You you have the you have the milled or the smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Either way. Oh, that's that's uh, that's awesome, Mark. The, it's, it looks like you're uh, you've really taken the hammer to another another level. So uh, I like to think so, but you know I'll let my critics decide that. Okay. <laughs> thanks very much. All right. Thanks. Thank you.